the Northeast will be hosting an auction next week, featuring a bullet shot from the pistol that killed John Lennon. Northumbria police officer Brian Taylor received the macabre artifact as a gift from the New York Police Department. He spent the remainder of his life with the bullet he shot from the gun that Mark Chapman used to kill the Beatles, which he had obtained on a visit to the New York Police Department. The pellet will be auctioned off by Anderson and Garland, an auction house in Newcastle, by the officer's family. An ill-fated journey to New York City left Brian Taylor, later to become Chief Superintendent of Northumbria Police, in possession of the bullet. When he was involved in a shooting while riding in a police patrol car, he was taking a group of young people who wanted to be cops to see the New York Police Department. Officers from the New York Police Department took Mr. Taylor to see a museum showcasing firearms from notorious cases as an act of reparation. With the bullet and cartridge in his hands, they gave him permission to fire the gun that murdered John Lennon. Mr. Taylor kept the artifacts on display until his death, along with a photograph of himself clutching the rifle. Auctioneers are uncertain of the value that such a unique property, including the bullet, will fetch when it is offered at auction on February 29th. Anderson and Garland director Fred Worley Birch remarked, it's one of those slightly macabre lots you get now and again that draws everyone's attention. You can find an ardent market for practically anything related to the Beatles, and their devotion is absolutely insane. But finding something so rare and special makes it hard to put a price on it and determine if there's a market for it. It's a really interesting piece of Beatles memorabilia that probably can't be replicated. According to him, the auction house had conducted thorough research to confirm the authenticity of the artifact.